Okay, welcome. My name is Kelly. I am the owner of Dog Kind, and I specialize in very fearful dogs. Next week, I'm going to be teaching a beginning online uh, sniffing games class. It's a beginning level class for very fearful dogs, and I have the link um, below where you're watching this video if you're interested in it, or you can ask questions if you are here live after the video. But first I'd like to tell you a little bit about why um, sniffing games can be so useful for our really fearful dogs. Sniffing games, why they're good for our fearful dogs. This is for you if your dog is anxious or fearful in many contexts and you haven't tried sniffing games or you have tried them for fun but you're not sure how to put them to use. And there are lots of practical uses of sniffing games for our fearful dogs. Benefit of sniffing games for fearful dogs, number one, is that they usually love it. And sometimes you might have to adjust the game a little bit to find exactly what lights up your dog, but I know how hard it can be to find things that our really sensitive dogs love. And these sniffing games are often one of the first things that I can find that a really scared dog can enjoy. Just one cute little video demonstrating that for you here. Um, this is my senior girl, Juno. She's almost 16 and she doesn't get real excited about a lot of things these days. This is her reaction to food coming to her uh, in a bowl. And you know, she wants it, it's okay. But food in a sniffing game, this is the same food, it's just kibble. She gets pretty excited and runs right in to, um, to play the game. So benefit number one is that dogs love it. Benefit number two is that there are some behaviors that sniffing games involve and reinforce that we want and need for our fearful dogs. And one of them is movement and exploration. I'm guessing that some of you have dogs who are a little bit afraid to move around, at least in some environments, and aren't keen on exploring all the time, unless they're really comfortable. And sniffing games can help facilitate this. For example, if you've got a dog who is scared and hiding, like my little man Pancake was for a while, didn't want to come out of his crate. You can kind of see his little head there. Uh, here's one of his early sniffing games. And you can see that he's going to be exploring pretty tentatively. This is one of the first times that I, I set this up for him. I'd done some easier ones than this, but, um, but he is starting to move around a bit. And at this time, it was rare for him to leave that little corner where the colored tiles are. So sniffing can involve this, this behavior of moving around and basically exploring, which we really want our fearful dogs to do more of most of the time. Another behavior that might seem obvious, but is very helpful to our fearful dogs that they, um, they don't learn necessarily. Our dogs all know how to sniff, but the behavior of sniffing is uh, strongly reinforced by these sniffing games. And that's a huge benefit because Sniffing is a way to come into contact with quote unquote naturally occurring reinforcers in the environment, like the sense on walks that many dogs, you know, a quote unquote normal dog would um, enjoy. It's why most dogs love to go on walks. And sniffing games can strengthen the behavior of sniffing so that you can start to help your dog or you can sort of bridge to your dog enjoying walks if they don't already. And this is another area in which I use sniffing games for pancake. This is him. Um, this setup is pretty advanced and I did not intend for him to, <laughs> to use this setup, but I had been filming my other dogs for a class, uh, searching this area. And then I had accidentally left my phone recording and gone inside and Pancake came around and he rarely came into this part of the yard at all. It was kind of new territory for him. But it was, I think, his first time trying outdoor sniffing games. And I was pretty impressed with his interest in moving around those objects. And here he is early on in his journey toward uh, enjoying being outside. We're just in the front yard right next, that's our porch. Um, but he's playing sniffing games for treats. And 
as your dog learns to sniff outside for treats, you often will then start to get sniffing for sniffs, for just smells. Even though it starts out as um, functioning to get food. And once your dog starts to enjoy, knows that, figures out, oh, I can sniff and find awesome stuff on walks, you start to get a dog who can be much more excited about walks and really um, loving going out. This is my chaos when we had all three dogs. Benefit number four is that sniffing games allow dogs, sometimes for the first time with you in your home, to learn how to use behavior to get good things in their environment. Uh, a lot of our really fearful dogs can be pretty shut down at first, and most of their behavior, um, behavioral efforts go into avoiding scary stuff. You know, they hunker down, they avoid people, they avoid other animals, they might hide. And if you have a dog who's not that fearful at home, you may still see some of those avoidant behaviors out in the world. And so teaching our dogs that they have ways they can use their behavior to make the environment produce good things for them is hugely powerful. Um, so sniffing games, another way to say that is that sniffing games build skills, skills for accessing good stuff, which is the way to build confidence in our sensitive dogs. So the behaviors you're seeing from Pancake here are moving around and sniffing, but here we also doubled it with crate training. Uh, he waited in his crate, while I set up the search area, he's doing his sniffing games and then he's gonna take himself all on his own in a second here, right back up to his crate to wait so I can set up the next search for him. So he is affecting the world around him in a positive way, which is a big deal for these, these sensitive dogs. So quick summary, those sniffing game benefits it's a way to bring joy into your fearful dog's life, which can be hard to do at times. Sniffing games reinforce movement behaviors and therefore can encourage exploration. The sniffing behaviors that are reinforced in sniffing games can lead to them finding natural reinforcers in the environment, like interesting smells on walks. And in a more general sense, our fearful dogs can learn easily with these games that they have some power in their lives, some control to make good stuff happen for them using their behavior. If you're interested in joining me for this live beginning scent work or sniffing game class specifically for fearful dogs I'm teaching next week, the registration will be open for a few more days and you can go to that link there, dogkindtraining.com slash scent work and there's a little brief description and then a register button.